Finally here. I don't even know if you can see it because of the lighting. But CM27 LQ Gigabyte 27 inch 1440p 165 hertz monitor. And it's going over there with my Series X. Alright, here we go. I don't know which way I'm supposed to lay this. Okay. I'm going to need two hands for this, so I'll be back. Alright. So this is the stand. HDMI. Display. Alright, let me get the cables out of the way and start setting up the stand. I to get the fuel in. I can get it. There she is. Let me get it on my desk. Alright. All set up. Just gonna take this wrapper off. I don't want to rip it. There we go. Just pull it right off like that. There it is. No peel, sadly. Alright, it's all plugged in. I'm gonna turn the Xbox on and see if it works. But it's 1440p, 120 Hz. So let's see. TV and display, 1440p, is that 120 hertz? There we go. I don't even need to update this, uh, the firmware. It just automatically worked. 1440p, 120 hertz. That monitor had so many problems doing it. This, this one worked perfectly. I probably look so dumb right now. I'm like a unicorn. All right, you ready to see my shitty uh, cable management? That's my power supply. Right there, isn't she pretty? Yo, what about that? Let's get my favorite screwdriver. Nope. Big Bessie's coming out. Like I said, I can't really. I'm not excited to put that AIO back on. I like the new mount of the new one because the mount for it's different on the new one. It's so much better. It's so much easier to get on. That one's older and it's a bitch. This is another thing that's a bitch. I'm plugging these cables. When I tell you, they take force. Trust me. I probably should have unplugged these before. I unscrewed it. These ones are worse, I don't even want to imagine how they're going to be. So, to hmm. uninstall this, see this Bye. little lever here, yeah, click it down. Take it on out. There's your graphics card. And this is the bottom of it. That's the fans. Oh, look at that. Yep. There's so many fans. Yes, sir. Careful. Now, this is RAM. This is pretty easy to take out. You just flip these levers out in the same way you put it in. That's the easiest thing to install. Under here is where that little hard drive thing that I told you goes. Mm -hmm. I would put in, I would be putting this one here and then getting the other one and be putting it here unless I changed motherboards. Okay, so now this is out of the way. We're gonna want to unplug this, which this powers this. This also I think powers it. Get that out of the way. These are fans. This also comes out. And that's everything there. Now. Screwdriver? Yeah. Now you get to see all the thermal jizz. Now I believe that's just gonna come right off. Yep, just on next from there. There she is. But try to make it look nice and squeaky clean at this point. You'll see what I'm talking about in a sec. this. I threw this out for the old one. So, yeah. So I need to be very, 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 very careful. Which I'll show you in a second why. Ah, she's so pretty. All right, so you're gonna go on your back, your front for just a sec. Very careful, okay? Stay right there. I take this out. I'm gonna take this out. It's pretty simple. Just push this over, lift it, and theoretically, it should come right out. Your CPU is now ready to lift That's why. 
I forgot to click it all the way up a little bit. Ew. There she is. Now you see these things right here? Mm -hmm. Just one of those bend, one of them break, you're yeah. fucked. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful. If I drop it, Randy, I'm gonna cry. I don't think I can get thermal paste on the pins, but I don't want thermal paste here. I got thermal paste all over my hands now. That little arrow right there. Here, look at it. This one right here. See that tiny little triangle? Mm -hmm. Then you want to line her up. Yep. Oh my God, Randy. See her in place? Give her a little wiggle like that. Pull her down. Seat her under. She's in the clear. Okay. So, hopefully I don't fuck this up. Can you help me? Yeah. Hopefully these are plugged in the right way. If not, I'm gonna have to come back here. But it says press Y to reset. Press N to keep pre- Oh, should I keep the previous one or should I reset it? Can I go into BIOS now? Thank you. Um, I hope that's not my CPU temperature. I hope that's wrong. No, it's going down now. Yep. I don't want to enable it. It's gonna crash. Should I risk it? Nothing my, bad will happen. It's just my, crash. my computer. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> XMP normally doesn't. Basically, XMP automatically sets my RAM to the speed it's supposed to. But every time that I did it before, it crashed. It crashed. So I had to manually set it to the times that I wanted it to. And normally it would be fine, but BIOS reset all my settings when I installed the CPU. So it doesn't like it anymore. Windows! Yeah. Hello. Okay. Now. Wow. We're getting somewhere. We are. Now let's see what my CPU temperature is. I thought it was at 74 Celsius idling for a second. I was gonna be like, uh, that is not normal. We're stabilizing, I think. Yep. It's sitting around 41 to 42 Celsius on idle. Okay, it jumped up to 60. Calm down. It's probably just booting and loading everything up. All right, one more truth. Sixty-seven, sixty-six. Not going up above sixty-seven. All right, sixty-seven, sixty-six. Dude, this isn't going. This is cooler than my other one, and it's hotter in here. Okay. Yeah, cooler is better. It's not going above sixty-nine right now. The other one, it was going to about seventy-two. Jumped up to seventy-three and dropped a little bit. We went up to seventy at most. Still at sixty-eight Celsius. Not going above seventy. And it finished, we're at zero. What are the points? It's finishing the last render. 19,574. That is 1,000... No. 2,500 more points than my old CPU. So what does that mean? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Good. It's a higher score. Okay. Now is the recording, sir? Mm-hmm. Okay. Moment of truth, I hope I didn't scrape the bottom of the board on the... Say goodbye to the old and hello to the new. So, I don't think I would have to now. Oh, that felt like a click in. Pretty sure, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I got everything plugged in. Two clicks.
Okay, there we go. I was going to be pissed if that could slide in there. Reveal. Three out of six fans are working. The AIO is coming up. The fans are on at least. I can hear the water going through. CPU is at 43, still booting up now. GPU is at a nice 32. But what I want to do is I want to figure out why those lights aren't turning on. Well, I got the bottom fans working. They're crazy looking. Makes the whole case look a lot better because they're bright all around. And uh, yeah. Idling between 39 and 41 or 42 right now, which is really good. And 30 Celsius and then to 39 Celsius in the GP, which is normal. Uh, that's, a, I would call it a success. I missed work, sadly, and I've been up till 7.30 in the morning. So I'm going to get sleep and clean up everything before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty dang well.